Hello and welcome. My name is Zaki Anastasio. Welcome to the CBI Astute Smart Range launch. And I'm really, really excited to have this conversation. And welcome all of you who are joining us today. And remember that this is a very interactive session. So any questions that you might have, any things that you find interesting, please uh, do reach out on the chat uh, segment of your Zoom and uh, let us know what your questions are. But we've got a fantastic demo coming up. We've got some great videos and we're going to be talking about the smart home. And, uh, you know, CBI CBI does amazing stuff. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Zaki Anastasi, as I mentioned, and I've ju I'm just so passionate about technology and the smart home, something that I've been really, um, it's been part of my life for a very, very long time and visiting these various technology shows. And, you know, it's something that none of us should be intimidated by because initially when I thought about that. I was intimidated, but boy, oh boy, it's become so easy to do these things. Now today, to give you an example, I can, from, from here, I can turn on my air cons at home and I can adjust the air conditioners. I can start music playing. I can turn the lights on and off. I can control my geyser. And that's so important because if you've got a solar system, for example, and if there's load shedding, for example, imagine being able to do that remotely from outside your home to really heat up that water when you need it heated up and according to a certain timer. And I've actually got one of the uh, technologies that CBI provides. I've got that smart geezer thing and it's my favorite piece of technology in my home. And I show it off to everybody. I open up my phone, I check out the app and it's absolutely amazing. Now, this is what this conversation is going to be about and I've got a fantastic panel of people. I've got Andrew Joanna who's joining us. He's the engineer and innovation business development manager at CBI Electric. Sitting next to him is Larry Barnes, who's the product manager. Sitting next to Larry is Yolandi Fasaki, who's the product manager at CBI Electric. Skolk Kabola is in charge of sales, training, and technical at CBI. And also right at the end is Yaku Falyun, who's the national operations manager at CBI Electric. Hi, guys. How are you guys doing? Very well. Morning. Hi. Morning, Listen, Yaki. what's the favorite, what's your favorite piece of smart automation, smart technology that you have in your home? What's your skulk? The ASC. What about yourself, Yaku? I would definitely say the ASC. I can control my irrigation system from it. Set times, set schedules, weather, weather dependent. Definitely. They're very cool. Yolandi? Don't say ASC as well, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the plug. Well, that's pretty cool. So what do you use your plug for? Um, automatic, the lights, um, bulbs. Yeah, all right. So I can switch on my lights if I'm not home. Yeah. That's, that's, that's so I don't cool. come home to a dark house. Yeah. What about yourself, Larry? For me, it's difficult. It's everything. All of the smart range devices I currently have because everything has their own function. You see, and the guy that does the demo, he's typically the guy that's got everything in his house. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's amazing because they actually just all talk to each other. So from a coffee machine to the lights to the geezer, it's, you, I can't do without one. They're all amazing. Yeah. Okay. Now you've got to have a favorite one. Me, yeah, I've got, I've definitely got the favorite one. Um, it's definitely the ASI. Uh, the practicality of it, uh, the functionality of it, it uh, allows you to save energy. I save energy and I've proven it in my house. It's just amazing. The ease of installation, um, it, it's plug and play. It, that, that is my absolute favorite, but I've got devices everywhere. <laughs> my swimming pool, the, the lights, uh, the, the whole section of outside lights. Um, I use it to monitor energy throughout the house. It's, I've, I've got all of them, the plugs. Yeah. But by the way, uh, talking about energy, we'll explain that concept a little bit later on because in South Africa, energy could mean a whole lot of things. But right now we are going through a little bit of a tough, uh, tough time, but I'm sure we'll resolve all those kind of issues. But it does play uh, quite an important role when you look at the, the bigger impact of things. And wherever you are right now watching this, we do hope you don't have load shedding and we do hope that you're safe because the other reality is that there's the COVID-19 pandemic that's around us. And we've followed all the, all the protocols that you may imagine um, with the social distancing and the temperature checks and all that sort of thing that we go through in our day-to-day -day lives. So do comment. We've got that fantastic demo coming up. But Andrew, I want to start off with you. When you look at this entire the revolution of home automation, it, it, it's, it's amazing when you look at this revolution, right? I remember somebody a few years ago telling me that, oh, we, we can have something like 40 billion devices connected to the internet. And when you hear of IoT, it's internet of things, right? And all of these devices we're talking about are all things that connect to the internet, which is what makes up all this vast number. So my one switch that I've got connected to my geezer is one of those you know, 20 odd, 30 billion one of those things. So when you look at this uh, evolution and this revolution that's going on, I, I think about 
fourth industrial revolution, I think about automation. I mean, are all those things relevant in what we're talking about today? Yes, definitely. There's many drivers of the fourth industrial revolution, and that's something we need to keep in mind. And it's, it's not just one thing. The fourth industrial revolution can't be summarized into a single sentence. Yes. It's a combination of many aspects. As you mentioned, IoT, Internet of Things, Internet of Systems, um, smart factories. We now have machines that are talking to machines without human intervention. They're making, machines are making themselves more efficient in a factory. And, and what this all stems and, and comes down to, it's, it's not only a change in machines, there's also a change in human psychology, the way humans interact with themselves, the way ah. humans interact with people. Um, and all of this stems from these, the fourth industrial revolution is, is a big, one of the other big drivers of it is big data. And what that big data means, we now have visualization into how machines operate. And from that, we want now as a society, more information, more feedback, and we want to use that moving forward. And that's now the stem of home automation. Um, we, we don't only just want to switch things on and off anymore. We want to do more with it. And if we look into um, how, what that means for South Africa, so what does the fourth industrial revolution mean for South Africa? It's a change of the way we do things. Um, we, we know we have an energy crisis in South Africa. That's an important one for us. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what makes you think that? <laughs> yeah, and, and what that means is we, we need to use our energy more efficiently. Oh, absolutely. So, um, and then in itself, if we do, if we are more efficient in how we use energy, we take pressure off the grid, right? Hundred percent. So it's it's not necessarily just um, an energy crisis; it's an energy management crisis that we have. We're not managing our energy correctly, and um, if we, as users, take power into our own hands and optimize our own energy efficiency, we help the country as a whole. So. What home automation has done for us is we, we now look at how we can make our own homes more efficient with a few simple devices. Yeah, yeah. No, it's absolutely brilliant. And as you're talking now about the, the savings in efficiency and you look at South Africans per se, uh, where do you see that going? I mean, are, are, we, are we starting to use these devices to become a lot more efficient? I mean, has this the ability to really... Uh, say, cut down the energy usage by, say, 10% or I don't know what the numbers are. You, you obviously do a lot of those numbers because you're an engineer and you spend a lot of time doing calculations, right? Yes, yes, for sure, for sure. So um, th there's a big concept, especially around geysers. They, there's, there's a lot of people arguing how they believe geysers, if you just leave them on the same uh, f forever um, or continuously, that um, they use the same amount of energy as if you put them on a timer. Um, but, but that's not necessarily, that's not the case at all. I know because I use one of your products. It's definitely not yes, the case. Yes, yes. And then what our product not only gives you the, it gives you the, um, the input into that, but also it gives you the visualization where it monitors the energy and it shows you, it gives you visual feedback. Yes. And, and that's very important for the end user. So if we look at the increasing costs of electricity, um, that's very important. We're now able to bring down our electricity costs because of we're using less energy in our homes. Yeah. So we pay less at the end of the day. So are South Africans open to automation? I mean, what are the, I mean, we spoke about the benefits of reducing electricity and that sort of thing, but the benefits are, are massive as you talk. Yes, yes, South Africans are definitely open to, to automation. And this, this whole fourth industrial revolution, it's how it's changed how people interact with each other and how they interact with their homes. Um, you know, cell phones have become a, a very important part of people's lives. Yeah. Um, you know, so I've seen some people cry when they lose their cell phone as if they've lost a pet. And what that means is you want full control from your cell phone. So what we're able to do now with our automation devices is fully control your home from your cell phone. South Africans as well are not excluded from that. They want to control their house from their phone. From an app. And, and securely, hey? I mean, Obviously and this securely. is the most important thing because you don't want somebody taking off over your home and then changing <laughs> things and <laughs> adjusting your lights and that sort of thing. Then it becomes horrible, right? Yes. Um, Yaku, let me come to you. We talk about South Africans and we talk about consumers and we talk about the different products that people are buying. Um, what, what are you seeing? What, what are the trends that you're seeing from customers? Are they coming in and saying, I want this specific item to do this specific task? Automation is really... A matter of convenience. Yes. It's, and that's what the astute smart devices is doing. People were, lit, were, were historically scared of automation. Um, this makes it so simple. You can literally decide off your, off your cell phone when your lights must come on, when your swimming pool must work, when your irrigation must come on. 
It's literally so simple. If you all of a sudden have a cloudy day in summer and you decide it's cold, your, your air conditioner doesn't have to work. Yeah. There's, there's the added advantage of security. You come home late at night, it's unplanned, you can switch your lights on. So the lights are on, you don't go into a dark home. And we always joke about it is, there's, 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 I can think I can relate to all families in South Africa. How many times have you got into the car and all of a sudden did I, did I actually switch the electric blanket off? And that's how the fight starts. Yeah. Because now the whole family is in the car, you turn back and you must go actually go have a look if the, if the, if the electric blanket switched off. Now the solution is at your fingertips. You can actually see which devices is working in your home, what is switched on, and if there's something that shouldn't be on, you simply switch it off. Um, the other big advantage about this huge smart range is this is not a one size fits all. It's really a customized approach to home automation. You can tackle the biggest electricity, electricity consumption in your home first. And then you just, it's simply a matter of adding on later. And it's, it's simple programming, no, no, no mess, no fuss. Yeah. But that's the thing with this is it shouldn't be t intimidating, right? It's very, very easy. You don't have to code. You don't have to add, you know, algorithms and nonsense. It's just like an on and off switch, but you can do it remotely and get the other intelligence. You know, I loved an analogy that somebody used a few years ago when they were talking about ultimately, you know, a smart home. We talk about smart cities. We talk about smart offices. These are all of the devices. But what we're, what we're building is this, this central nervous system right, that we're able to get amazing insights into how much electricity we use, what the devices are doing, uh, if a device is about to break down, for example. These are all important things. And once you have that intelligence and you make these devices intelligent, then they start becoming very, very useful, right? You guys provide the intelligence. You guys provide the devices. You just need consumers like myself to play with them, right? Now, Yolani, I want to come to you because people will say that, you know, the when you think about this and people, and, and I thought that, um, I must be honest, when I was looking at that uh, smart geezer solution, this, it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a DB board switch that turns on and off. And I thought it was going to, I was amazed by the price initially, because I, when I imagined what it was going to cost, I expected it to cost double what I actually paid for it, but it's not the case. The devices are actually affordable. They're not that expensive, right, Yolandi? They're very affordable. And all you need is your smartphone and the astute product you want. Yeah. And from there on, you can automate your day-night switches even. You can wake up by light instead of by alarm, by using a smart plug. You can put your pool pump on it, your geezer, or even um, use it on your um, TV for your kids um, controlling screen time. Yes. So it's... Oh, and even your TV as well. Your TV as well. Gee, I, I can think of a few things. And, uh, you know, when, it, when you're lying in bed at night and you can hear them playing games online at midnight, exactly. open up the phone, chicka ding, <laughs> bedtime. <laughs> yeah. I like and, the way you think. And yeah. even putting your hot iron on it. Did I switch it off? Didn't I? Yes, yes. I can yes. quickly check on my phone yeah. because that is a girl's biggest problem. <laughs> Yeah, well, listen, I don't have too much hair, so I can't <laughs> Well, I'm talking right for now. the girls, yeah. <laughs> yes, but, but my daughter, actually, uh, it's happened to us before. We've left the home, and she goes, I wasn't sure if I switched off my hot iron or not, you know. So, But can you can you actually control, I guess, on, on the app, you, everything comes up as individual, right? So you, you customize it. You can say, in this plug, this is what's plugged in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Larry will explain it to you a bit later on in the demo, but it shows you each what, thing. What, his hot iron? <laughs> well, not his hot time. Oh, oh. <laughs> but how the app works, it shows you what, and you can rename your products as well on there. Okay. So you can call it bedroom plug or okay. um, kitchen plug, for instance. Having an isolator on your stove as well, knowing that you switch off the stove or not, how much do you use the stove? Actually, that isolator switch is the one of the products that I saw that I've got on my eye as well. That's that, that, that thick plug that connects your stove and your oven, right? Yes. And so, you know, for example, I, I've got these cats at home, you know, and they all walk all over the place. And I've got one of those flat stoves that, you know, it's those, one of those touch ones. So I, oh. I was away recently and I actually didn't remember if I turned that isolator switch on and off. And you don't want these guys starting the stove off 
or a child touching it. And then, you know, you want to isolate it completely. So thank you for reminding me about that. You should definitely get the isolator. Thank you for reminding me about that. Yeah. yeah. But I guess, can't you, can't you as well pick up, you're an engineer, can you pick up problems when, you know, you're seeing a device using abnormal amount of electricity usage, then you know there's something wrong with the motor or something's going on with it, right? For sure, yeah. definitely. I can okay. give you an example with my installation where I installed the ASC. Um, the, the pool pump is uh, my favorite example. So in my pool pump, I've got uh, an ASC, which is that DB more than one. What and does ASC stand for, by the way? It's an astute smart controller. Astute smart controller. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, DB boards... That's the heart of the hardware, right? Or the software? Um, yes. So, so we've, we've got... That was the first one we launched. Yes. The, the, the astute smart controller. Um, and in, in there's all the smarts, all the, all the energy management, all the, all the energy consumption. You don't see it. It comes into the app. So for a pool pump, you get to install it right at your pool. And um, so what that does for me is it tells me when I need to change the basket. So what happens is the pool pump energy consumption is higher because the motor must work harder when the basket is full of leaves. Ah, okay. So create an automation. If the pool pump's on and the current is too high, I know it's time to go change the leaves. Okay. So that way, um, I also have on, on a long average um, a more efficient pool pump because now it's not working hard all the time because I forgot to go check the basket. So you can automatically see if there are too many leaves. Yes. You can get yes. a notification to your phone that it's time to backwash my pool or my creepy stuff. Wow. Okay. Skulk, all those products that we're talking about, right? I mean, there's such a wide range of products. We're talking about the, the pool. We're talking about the... And, and please, I, I need to see that device that uh, Yolandi was talking about. With the, what, what the did you isolator. call it? The isolator in the kitchen. Skulk, the, the automation devices that we're talking about and the products that CBI offers... I didn't quite realize. I only realized that after I got my um, my you know solution for for my geezer, that you guys have actually got such a broad range of products. Uh, Aki, you know what? I always advise my clients when we do training, as we do in national launching and training of on products. Yes. Um, that you know this product is is multifunction. You can use it for a lot of things. Switching whatever we uh, guys have already covered security. Security? Yeah. How? Because once you got, you can install, look, it's very easy. T take you a few minutes to slot that thing in the board. You can put the whole circuit of your lights into this IAC. And then when you go on holiday, you select which lights you want on during the night. Because, you know, uh, no, uh, most of the time, Aki, we are all challenged by the criminals who are breaking in our houses. Oh, it's very And then if you select some house, uh, some, some lights in some rooms, you can switch, leave the switches on without doing the re rewiring of the whole house. Yes. And then switch on, 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 leave that one off, off, off. Then switch on while you are away on holiday, just call on the phone. And then those lights left on can be on. Somebody walking by the street think there's somebody with the plug. I always make a joke. I say, you know what? You can, you know, the small radio, Aki, the small radio. You can plug it on the socket and then leave it on with the volume on. So anybody walking by the street, see lights on, and the radio comes on, at 7 o'clock at night, there's nobody at home. <laughs> and then the, the next month, the next evening, yeah, yeah. you change the time schedule. They think, Yaku went on holiday, but he left someone looking after, after the house. Because as, as soon as somebody hear a sound of something, a light in, in the house, they think there's somebody here. No, these people are not here because we don't see Yaku's car, but there's somebody sleeping here. Right, right. Then you can keep on changing the, the switching on and off time. You do, I love that. Yeah, I yeah. love that feature. I mean, yes. well, if you think about it like 10 years ago, that you'd yes. be able to do things like this. People say, are you crazy? Why would you want to do that? But the way you've mentioned it just makes so much sense. Yes. And uh, Aki, adding, in addition to that, uh, you know, the, we've got most the, the controller and the isolator. Yes. And then um, a lot of people outlined, they go for the controller. Because uh, it's, it's actually dual mounting, clip in a, a mini rail, din rail board. Yeah. And then it's easy accessible because uh, it, it's right in front of you by the DB. Right. And then, but majority of us, our DBs are full. Well, that's one of the challenges that, that I have. You see, I want to install this thing, but I don't have space. Yes. So if my ASC is intended for the Giza, I've got an option. I can use isolator, ASI. And it's also, ah. it's also a legal requirement that uh, all geezers installation shall have, according to the wiring code, 
the, the Giza shall have isolator in a radius of, within a radius of one meter where the Giza is installed, shall have. So I don't have to really to go for a controller if I don't have space. I can go for the isolator and just slot it in there, then I'm sorted. So, I mean, there's a lot of different applications that yeah. you could use. Um, can I ask you, so you can actually make a, 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 a plug that you plug a three pin, whatever, yeah. into it. You can turn that plug into a smart plug it's and smart control plug. that from your phone. Yes. Um, and then you'd obviously have to change the hardware, right? Because you're adding that intelligence inside it. No, no, no. Larry's no. going to, no, really. Well, I'm saying when you change the plug, you're yeah. actually adding that intelligence for it to talk to your app, right? Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. So Larry's going to show me around the house just now. I mean, he's obviously got some, some fancy tech that he wants to show us. But um, I love those examples that you guys have used. And I did say earlier we're going to do a QA and a a little bit later on, but I have to ask this question because somebody's posed this question on the group, and I know we're only going to do Q&A later, but this is very relevant to what we're talking about, right? And there's nothing worse than having to input everything again. So what happens when there's load shedding? Everything switches on and off. Do you have to put in all your settings in again? Or how does it work with your so, smart devices? Definitely not. The, the nice thing about it is um, all your automations are stored in the cloud. So each user, when they create their profile on the app, has a secure space in the cloud uh, where all the automations get set. So as soon as your Wi-Fi gets restored, it doesn't, the, the automations aren't stored in some volatile memory. Um, it, it gets stored in the cloud. So when your electricity returns, all of that memory comes back down into your device and everything returns to normal. Okay, so easy as that. Yeah. Okay, guys, listen. Uh, Larry is like really wanting to show me around over here and I, and I can't wait to see what he's got to show us. Uh, keep those questions coming in. Uh, we're going to answer them and I've actually got some questions that I'm thinking about right now and I'm sure I'll have some more after I've chatted to Larry as well. But we're going to play a short video next. So keep those questions coming in. And coming up after that... Larry is going to take me on a guided tour and we'll check out these devices and you can see them for yourself. And then we'll come back and we'll take some of your questions and interests that you might have with regards to the new devices and all of these smart technologies that we're talking about, the IoT, the Internet of Things with our panel. And uh, we hope that you are enjoying this CBI Astute Smart Launch. So enjoy the video and coming up, Larry and I we're going to give you a live demo. Welcome back. Hope you've enjoyed the session so far this morning. And uh, now we're going to put everything to test. I'm um, with Larry Barnes in the demo area. Larry, as I said earlier, he's the product manager at CBI. We've got the, the things attached and we're going to be doing this uh, demonstration for you just to show you how the technology works. So just for interest purposes, you'll see that there's a cable attached to Larry's phone. This is so you can see on this big screen exactly what's going on. So uh, ultimately, you'll be walking. I mean, you could be anywhere. As I just got a notification now that my, my CBI, CBI smart switch went on at home, that my geezer's turned on. So I can control it remotely. And this is exactly what you'll be able to do. But for today, we've just got this attached there so you can get a bigger uh, you know, screenshot of what's going on on the screen. So, Larry, do you mind just turning the lights on? It's a little bit dark over yeah, here. Yeah, sure, Aki. Thank you very much. Let's let's do it the cool way. Let's not do it the old-fashioned okay, way. Okay, so that's what the CBI app looks like, right? Correct, yeah. So it's like a normal app you download off your Android store or the iOS store. You hit the button and it logs in automatically and there are all your devices. So, as we'll get into this later, Aki, yes. is technically I'm not too sure of which one's which. Right. So, you know, sometimes it's a cool party trick, but now I need to figure out ah, oh, what is actually connected to your lights. But in this case, I kind of know which one it is. So let's make it a bit brighter. Ah, there you go. You see what they're talking about? Switch it off. 
and on. That's very cool. Now, in the main lounge where we were earlier, yes, I can. you can switch yeah. that light on from there We can as even well. do this there. So, Which one is that? So that, yet again, oh, I'm not too sure. So let's go back, ASP lights. And as you'll see in the lounge, we'll switch it on. Oh, okay. Just like that. Just from here. Just and you from switch here. it off again. Very cool. All right. All right. So simple as that. And that is using one of these plugs over here. Correct. Okay. So this is what's plugged in at the moment. And as soon as it switches on, this is what's going on at the moment, right? So that just is switch correct. it off again. Ah, brilliant. Back And back on again. I love it. So and off. And on. Off. On. Off. Oh, okay, so it's going away. <laughs> Let me just calm down. Okay, so I love it. So the lights are on. Now, that's this plug over here. That is correct. Okay. This is the one that I love as well. This is the uh, this is this one over here. This is the smart isolator. Typically, you find this is the one that switches your stove and your oven on and off. And your geezers. For easy installation, oh, two by, any 2x4 two installation where you would need it, that's where your ASI device will be installed. So you might be uh, on the sea at the moment... You might be out of the country, for example. You've got your phone. You've got connectivity. Your home is going to talk to that device there Correct. via the app. Correct. And it's the same thing, Aki. Whenever we go away on holiday, what is the first thing we all do to try to save electricity? Switch the geezer off. Yeah. Because that is most consumption. But do you remember if you switch off the geezer when you leave home? I know I don't. So now I can pull out my phone. And CBI app, it's showing me it's off. So I'm fine. But... So, for example, you're on your way back from a holiday. What do you want to do? When you get home, you're going to have a hot shower, not? Exactly. So, as we leave the destination, we activate it. And the nice part about the CBI Home app is, is that it gives you the indication of the nice little animations that it's on or it's off. Yes. So, something that I want to show you as well, which is a huge function of this, besides your timer. Obviously, we have our timers when the morning comes, your light wants to go off, and then at night, it obviously switches on. But you can go even further. I can put a smart automation into this where sunrise and sunset. So I don't have to every season go back and change that sunrise and sunset is different. The app will tell me automatically what time is sunrise and what time is sunset. Okay, because that's because in the back end, you've got the, the weather information running. Exactly, okay. exactly. So automations is huge when it comes to this app. Whatever you think of Aki, you can do. Now, we've obviously touched a lot of technical data about what this device can do. At the end of the day, it's cool. Yeah. It's just cool. Very, very cool. Professor Barnes, I'm calling him a Professor Barnes because this is like being in that in that showroom, you know, in the James Bond movies where the guy, what's his name? Um, uh, Q, 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 Q. You know, where he shows all the new gadgets. Yeah, Maybe I should call you Professor <laughs> Q. But uh, let's go back because uh, a lot of you have got questions that you want to ask us and we'll take those questions in the Q&A section next. Shall we maybe put the lights on first? Professor okay. Barnes, after I think you. Let's do that. Let's switch the lights on and go back. Larry, thank you so much. That was such an awesome demo. I've already got a few products that I, I want to install in my home. Um, and we've got lots of your questions that have come in. And I'm sure you want to know about uh, the, the way this stuff works, right? And I've got in my hands one of the smart plugs and I've got the uh, Astute Smart Isolator. Where, where's the controller? Where's the controller you were showing? Yes. Ah, here we go. Yes. This is what I've got in my house. I absolutely love this particular device because this sits in, 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 my, uh, in my DB board and this, this controls the geezer and I don't have to touch this. It just does it by itself. And I love that sound as soon as it turns on. In fact, it's about to turn on right now. Um, you hear that tick and it switches the power on and tick when it goes off. I just love this particular device. But when you look at these devices, Skulk, this one, for example, you don't install on your own. You need a, an electrician to do this for you. 
qualified accredited person is a requirement that uh, it has to be installed by a qualified person and an uh, accredited person. Yeah. Yes. And, and the smart isolator as well. I imagine as the well. same thing because the there's high voltage over here. But, yes. But what about a, a plug like this, for example, that you can plug against the wall? Is that, do you need a, a, an accredited electrician for this? I will also say so. Yeah. So this thing has got built-in Wi-Fi. I mean, talk to me, guys, about the... Because somebody's actually asked this question over here. They said, uh, what do you actually need to make this whole thing work? Is there, is there like a, a, a hub that all of these devices talk to? Uh, do you need to buy anything else? Uh, obviously, you need data, right? Yeah. Yes. Correct. Very simple. Go for it. After you, Spoky, oh, okay. you're, the, you're the genius. Okay, guys. <laughs> so, okay, Aki, very simple. Requirement. Yes. 2.4 gig Wi-Fi with internet connection. Can I just say it's something to you? To Can that. I say something to you? Yes, sir. And, and just, a, just a quick one on those 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. And that sounds like, you know, funny, funny numbers, right? But your route at home, you'll see, has got two names. And the two names are the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. And that's just the frequency that they're operating on. Typically, most devices will connect to both of those. But just remember, with IoT devices, they do not like 5 gigahertz. And I've learned this the hard way, trying to connect the device, spending two hours and saying, why is this device not connecting when, in fact, you should be using your 2.4 gigahertz? It's just got to do with spectrum and everything. But once you've done that, I mean, Scott, these things are easy to connect. You mm. download the app, yeah. you switch the device on, and then what? You, you, register, the, you register the app? Yeah. So, so somebody's asking a question over here. We touched on security earlier, right? But, uh, you know, my, my, my fear is hackers. And Andre is asking, what, what about hackers? Can the system be hacked? It's an internet device. Um, I, Andrew can correct me if I'm wrong. It, it's a very open, open question. Yes. Whereas a bank can be hacked. Yes. So it is as secure as what it can be. And it has been made as secure as what it can be. But obviously, if you do allow people into your systems, there's a very good chance. But in general, it's very, very secure. You're not going to have somebody switching on your lights easily. Yeah. Unless and, you give them control. And give it, make it a fancy password. Do you know how many people use the word password as password? <laughs> I mean, come on. We're in 2021 now. You know, use a proper authentication. But at the end of the day, it's very, very secure is the point. Correct. Yes. Now, there's another question over here is that what if I've got existing products within my range at home? Does the, do these products interfere or are they, are they compatible? So I think if I can answer that one is, is, so what CBI has done with the astute range of products is, is we have left it open. So we've left it open for a reason to allow the customer to have full control of the devices in their house. We don't want to limit you to just one product. So say for example, in your case, you've got different smart devices in your house. We allow you with compatible smart devices to actually pair them to the CBI home app. I don't want you to have to have five different apps on your cell phone and have to control everything differently. Mm. We are trying to have one-stop solution for you. Go into the CBI Home app, switch on my lights, switch on my plugs, control my geezer, whatever you need. So it is totally possible with compatible devices. Yeah. Cynthia wants to know in the chat, where do you find these devices? Where can you buy the CBI Astute devices? Aki, on our website, CBI Electric, there's a list of authorized distributors. Countrywide, there's more than 500, um, so availability should not be a problem at all. All right. Uh, another question comes in from Michael who wants to know, where, where do these products come from? Are these locally made? Are they imported? Where, where do they come from? So, I, yeah, go for it, all, all of our devices are um, designed locally, Yeah, which we're very proud of that. We've got a nice little engineering team there, and we, we design all of our devices locally, and um, we manufacture all the components in South Africa. And wow. yeah, we've got our facility in um, Germiston. Germiston. Uh, we, we, it, it's a very nice factory. We manufacture all the little components and then um, we assemble in our factory in Lesotho. So okay. proudly South African product. Wow, that's amazing. So everything is uh, designed locally, engineered locally, made locally. That's, that's quite incredible. Okay. And, I, and I imagine uh, you've got uh, quite a few products that are coming up on the on the pipeline. So another very, very good question uh, comes from Andre in the chat. And look, the reality is we've been talking about load shedding and joking about it, but power spikes are reality and people's TVs blow up and do all sorts of things. Do these devices protect against this? And how, how do spikes 
impact your devices? Andrew's going to answer that one for you. <laughs> okay, let, let now, me jump in there. Is that a hospital pass? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the South African electrical grid is, is a, it's very unique internationally. You're we have, joking, right? <laughs> the, <laughs> we, we, we ha, uh, load shedding yes. um, creates a large number of problems. Um, when electricity switches off, um, switching off is no problem because the electricity disappears, so your voltage disappears. The problem is when it comes back. So when the system comes back, when your voltage comes back, um, usually one of two things happens. Either the voltage is too low or the voltage is too high, both of which have negative effects on your appliances. The wonderful thing about our Astute Smart range, not just this particular device, but our Astute Smart range, is that it measures voltage and current and power. At the same time. At the same time. That's what I love about it. And on the app, it displays it. Yes. Or in your hand, the and, whole yeah. time. And you know what's cool about it? Sorry, I just took your train of thought. At the end of the month, you want to see how much electricity your geezers used? It's there. Yes, yes. That's, that's so coming beautiful. back to your power surge. So what, because you're able to measure your voltage and measure your current, what you can do is, through your smart device, when, when power comes back on load shedding, um, if the voltage is not stable, if, it, if it's too high, if it's too low, right. you can decide through your controller if you actually want that going through to your device. So in that way, you protect whatever is being supplied from this device. So this can take a, a bit of a punch if the voltage is too low, if the voltage is too high. That, that's, a, that's what we do. Um, and then it protects all downstream devices from this. Wow, it gets me so excited. Guys, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I've, I've certainly learned a lot of things from all of you and all these different devices and how they work. Uh, Larry Barnes, who's the product manager at CBI, who gave me that brilliant demonstration. Thank you for joining us. Andrew Joanna, who is the engineering in an, and innovation business development manager. He's got the longest title out of all of you guys. <laughs> he is the EIBDM. <laughs> the EIBDM, yeah. But uh, who is uh, the Engineering and Innovation Business Development Manager at CBI Electric. I've got it. It's a Great. long one. Perfect, yes. But I like it. Yeah. Uh, Yolandi, who is the Product Manager at CBI Electric. Yolandi Fasaki, thank you for joining us. Skolk Kobola. The sales training and technical at CBI Electric. At, uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, last but no means least, sitting right across me was Jakob Filyun, who's the national operations manager for CBI Electric. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Thank Great you. pleasure. Yeah, I've learned it. so thank much. You. And thank you very much to all of you for joining us this uh, today and really experiencing the demo with us, answering all your questions. And if you have any other questions that we might not have answered, you know what, pick up the phone, give the guys a call, and I've actually phoned them to ask them about some support when I did this installation, and they were absolutely brilliant. So pick up the phone, call CBI, and there's uh, some really friendly guys there that will be able to assist you. Thank you for joining us. Hope you've learned a little bit about home automation, IoT, the Internet of Things. So the next time somebody says IoT to you and you say, you mean Internet of Things, right? Watch their face. Thank you for joining us. Take care. <laughs>